one of the reasons why we do math is math is probably the best language for us to identify patterns that we see out in the real world and to look at how changes happen based simply on simple inputs. And we also notice patterns when we're solving problems. And when we notice those problems, sometimes we come across something beautiful like the quadratic expression that we were able to derive. So now what we can do is we have some quadratic function, quad, some quadratic equation. Because we've solved and we've worked through and developed the quadratic formula, which was a minus b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Those were the values of x equals. We just simply plug these values in. So in this one, I need to recognize that my a is an 8 my b is a 2, and my c is a negative 1. And I need to be careful. It's not always a, b, c. My a is related to my x squared term, term. My b is related to my x term. And my c is my constant at the end. So that's my clues. So how do we use this? All right, x equals negative b, which is a 2, plus or minus b squared, which is a 2, minus 4 times a, times negative 1, all over a 2, times my a, which is an 8. There I plugged everything in. Now it's simply going through and just reducing it down. And this might take a couple of steps, but we can do it. So negative 2, plus or minus, underside I have a 4, minus a 4 times 8 times a negative 1, uh, is a positive 32 all over 16 square root of 36 all over 16 equals uh, negative 2 plus or minus 6 all over 16 um, we have two solutions there uh, I can probably let's factor out a 2 from everywhere first and so I can rewrite this as a 2 times a negative 1 plus or minus a 3 all over a 2 times an 8. Those 2's cancel or factor out. So I'm left with minus 1 plus or minus 3 all over an 8. Those are my two solutions. But more precisely, let's figure out exactly what each version is. So the first one is a minus 1 plus a 3 all over an 8, and that produces a 2 over an 8, or a 1 fourth. So that's one solution. The other one is the minus 1 minus a 3 over an 8, and that equals a negative 4 over an 8 equals a negative 1 half. So my two solutions for this quadratic equation are x, uh, x is equaling 1 fourth and negative 1 half. Those are the two solutions that make this equation true. And we solved it by using the quadratic expression, plugged in our values, and simplified. Now, could you have solved this by using the completing the square method? Yeah, absolutely. No problem. That's pretty much everything we did between these two spots was the completing the square method. From there, we got our final, and we just solved it from there. Could you have solved this by factoring? Because we always want to see if we can factor the fir terms first. Yes, but I don't know if we would have got one fourth and one half and negative one half as easily by trying to factor that. So, the quadratic function, quadratic equation helped us.